Hello guys and welcome back sa isa na namang video. Today we're going to see how the Inno 3D GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Twin Times 2 OC Edition performs on some of the popular games na available yung RTX features and I'll also show you guys benchmarks of other games that you guys requested. Ito specs ng PC ko alongside the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. So without further ado, let's move on to the benchmarks. First sa listahan ng games that we'll check is the Minecraft Windows Edition. So this is Minecraft and all of its glory. Kita naman natin no. Uh, settings. Settings wise, we are on the highest settings available. And uh, we have ray tracing and upscaling turned on. Kita niyo, 105. Kita niyo, really smooth. Ito yung pinaka, ano, ayan. Tapos pagko-compare natin yung dalawa. If you don't have the Windows Edition ng Minecraft, this card is more than enough to handle the Java Edition's shader packs as you can see here. And moving on to a new game, we have here Watchdog Legions, and uh, I never played this game uh, before. Kaya, ayan na. Ah, oh, London. What Skip. a town. We don't want to see the cutscenes. We want to see the RTX features ng game. And wow, would you look at that? Wow. Wait, na ano bang RTX? Video adapter ayan. RTX 3060 Ti. Oh my God, boys, we are on very high sa ngayon. You know what, let's try Ultra. Let's see, let's see. Kung kaya ba. Kaya ba ng game? Or kaya ba ng ano? Kaya ba ng RTX 3060 Ti? RTX on high, DLSS on uh, quality. And uh, yes! Let's test, let's test boys. Oh my god, mag... Ayan na, we back! We back! GeForce RTX! The game is back! And we are back with RTX on, mga kaibigan. Nagpa-flicker ulit yung FPS counter natin, pero... So, tuloy natin yung game with RTX on. Naka-ultra tayo ngayon. And uh, we're in-game. And nagpa-flicker ngayon yung FPS. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see it, pero it has 80 FPS ngayon. So, nice. Looks nice. Pero tayo natin gawin itong mission. Ha! You know? That hurt you more than it hurt me. Nice. Okay. The reflection, the lighting. RTX makes the game look better. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Here comes the action, boys. Yeah, the cutscene looks nice. If they like, ano? If depende sa ano mo, depende sa settings mo yung cutscenes, then that would be nice. That's a nice, ano? If you're not careful, they'll get you and drop you. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working, Bagley. Tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now nice. waiting through Kita niyan, boys. That's not RTX. Sequence. That's my skill. <laughs> Survive the ambush, yeah. <laughs> Para sa kalaban. Ayan na, boys. We skip through the intro and then ito na yun, campaign. Glad and we alive. are now. Eh, yeah, nandito na tayo sa monumento ng game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check kung ano yung ano ng RTX. Ano yung difference ng may RTX and wala. And kita niyo yung pinagkaiba. Ano, nawala agad yung malamir-like na reflection. And the uh, game is on Ultra, you know. If this was a game from years ago, this would look really good now with Ultra. And kayang kaya siya ng RTX 3060 Ti. Now, what makes the game look better? 
if it has RTX on. Try natin with Ultra and DLSS on quality ngayon. Wow! You know, never play this game, never played the other games. The game looks nice, it has its own flair. And yeah, I think that's it for the Watchdog Legions. Uh, check natin yung ibang games. Hello, so yung next natin na game is Cyberpunk. This game has been the most awaited game of 2020. And na-release siya last December. So ang ganda ng timing na nilabas nila yung Cyberpunk along with the RTX 30 series graphics card. And I actually played uh, quite a lot of this game na. I have, been, I have played this game sa streams ko. So... We're gonna check this game out. Uh, see how it runs uh, RTX 3060 Ti. And uh, I'll do some comparison uh, with RTX on, with uh, with RTX off. And kung ano yung benefits ng DLSS, papakita ko sa inyo mamaya. And uh, tignan natin kung hanggang saan ang kaya ng RTX. Ayan, so ito yung settings ko ngayon. Ayan, naka-ultra siya lahat. Uh, kita nyo naman, on lahat ng basic settings. Uh, Naka-high naka ultra ultra high 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 yung pinakadulo ng iba and uh, ultra and then we have our RTX or ray tracing light on ultra then tapos yung resolution or DLSS natin nasa quality so so far habang nandito ako sa city na kumukuha ako ng 50 fps or nakaabot tayo ng 50 fps kita niyo naman you see how good uh, it looks with uh, everything crank up on ultra if you're playing this game and focus my story this is the best settings that I can recommend sa'yo, yung Ultra. And kayang-kaya yung Ultra with the RTX 3060 Ti. Kita niyo naman yung reflections niya, no? The lighting, the reflection. Tignan natin yung difference ng RTX on and uh, naka-off. Ayan, we turned RTX off and uh, you see we get a little bit more frames. Pero tignan niyo naman yung ano sa daan, ba? Parang ano lang siya. Parang nawala na yung, di mo na siya nakikita na as it's a puddle, di mo siya ma-distinguish na tubig siya. Ayun yun, kita mo yung difference. Medyo malaki yung difference niya in terms of detail and uh, yung reflections. This is without the RTX, you know, wala siyang lighting, ito yung ultra. So, so far, the experience is fine naman. Mataas pa rin yung FPS na ano, nalalaro mo pa rin. It's still playable, it's still nice, it's, it looks good. Pero with RTX on, it is better. Tiyo, pakita ko sa inyo with RTX on. Back natin yung DLSS. Back natin sa Ultra. Ano, may, na, may napansin ba kayo? Tiyan nyo. Mas distinguishable. So moving on sa DLSS. It is a groundbreaking AI rendering technology that will make your game look good while maintaining a high frame rate. Gamit ang dedicated Tensor Core AI processors. Paano nga ba ito gumagana? The game will run at a lower internal resolution and will be upscaled to your desired resolution. Para mabigyan ka ng performance headroom to maximize ray tracing settings and para sa mas magandang graphics while maintaining above your desired frame rates. Now moving on to a much competitive side, we'll first check Fortnite. Fortnite has RTX on which will give you a much higher frame rate kahit na maganda yung lighting and maganda yung visuals ng game na to. Fortnite also has Nvidia Reflex that will give you less latency whenever you're playing the game. Para sa akin, sobrang noticeable ng difference when it comes to Nvidia Reflex sa mga games na FPS or games na if nasa iyo yung less latency, nasa iyo yung advantage. I have everything set on Ultra with RTX on and of course DLSS on quality. Now moving on to our next game is Valorant. We all know Valorant is a competitive FPS game where having less latency will surely give you the advantage. Sobrang useful ng Nvidia Reflex in terms of games like this where winning is the only option para tumaas yung rank mo. I have Valorant run on the highest settings available with the Nvidia Reflex. 
You can also turn on render latency para makita mo kung gaano katagal mag-render ang isang bagay sa screen mo. Obviously, the lower the better. Kasi the faster your enemy renders on your screen, the faster you are to react, which gives you a lot of advantage. One of the examples is makikita natin sa clip na to. Isang malaking factor sa Valorant is the picker's advantage, and having low latency in terms of rendering, nasa iyo yung advantage talaga nito. Madami kang pwedeng gawin gamit ang RTX 3060 Ti. You'll be able to run games that has RTX settings smoothly with a much higher frame rate and will also help you in your games if maglalaro ka competitively. I also highly recommend this card para sa mga aspiring content creators and streamers. Thank you for watching this video and sana may nakuha kayong information on how this card performs. Let me know sa comments if you guys decided to get one yourself and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.